Hi everyone! The first part is the laboratory pump. So let's get started. Vacuum can be divided into four levels. The rough vacuum, medium vacuum, high vacuum, and ultra high vacuum. And each of them has corresponding applications. Rucker's laboratory pump include the rocker piston pump, chemical diaphragm pump, and tanker rotary van pump. They are specialized in the rough vacuum level. So here, I will show you the principle of each kind of pump. First, the piston pump. Rocker series pump or piston pump. The piston is driven by a motor and moves back and forth in a closed cylinder. So piston pump is kind of the reciprocating pump. The next one is the diaphragm pump. Chemical series pump and alligator liquid pump are diaphragm pump. The diaphragm is separated the interior into two space, the upper space and lower space. And it can protect the connecting rod from contacting the carried air or liquid and prevent the possible damage. That's why the chemical resistant pump and liquid pump are commonly diaphragm pump. The last one is the rotary van pump. It has a circular rotor rotating inside of the cavity. And with the existence of the oil, it can easily seal all edges and hence provides the better flow rate and the better vacuum. So now we have known how pump works. You might wonder how to express the vacuum. There are many kinds of pressure units all over the world. So here is a conversion table for commonly used unit. The MMHG, TOR, MINIBAR, and KPAR. And we have attached a convenient ruler in each pump. It's for quick and easy conversion of both pressure and flow rate unit. After the basic knowledge introduction, Let's start from the difference and the features of the Rucker's Library Pump. Rucker's Pump are divided into three series. The Rucker Series Pump, Chemical Series Pump, and Tanker Series Pump. So first, the Rucker Series Pump. They are piston pump and different from the other similar pump on the market. It has the protective device to prolong the pump's life. The next one is the chemical series pump. It's a diaphragm pump. And the greatest feature of the chemical is that its entire chambers are made of the PTFE, which is known as the most chemical resistant material in the world. The first two pump, rocket series pump and chemical series pump are oil free pump. And the last one is the oil pump, the chemical series pump. Tanker series pump are rotary van pump, and because its chamber is sealed by oil, it can provide high vacuum and high flow rates that oil-free pump is hard to reach. And in the following section, I will introduce each series pump with the three key features. First of all, the rocker series pump. There are three models included in Rocker Series Pump. The vacuum pump, compressor, and both vacuum pump and compressor models. Those models share the similar structure but with the different functions. And there are one chamber and two chamber models. The 300 series are one chamber models and others are two chamber models. Please know that the two chamber models, which its model name ended by double zero, like 400 and 800. They are parallel connection. It means those two chambers are work simultaneously to pull and push two times of the air at the same time. So those models provide better flow rate. And the other two chamber models, which its model name ended by 10, like 410 and 810. There are series connection. It means 
the two chambers walked one by one. The air is pulled by the first chamber and then pushed out and then pulled by the second chamber. And hence provides a better vacuum. Here's key features of Rocker Series Pump. Rocker Series Pump are oil-free pump, so there's no air pollution and no need of regular oil change. Rocker Series Pump has small and compact size that Rocker 300 is even smaller than an iPad. The last one and the most important one is that Rocker Series Pump has several patent protection devices, such as the overflow protection, the air inlet protection, and the thermal protection device. First, the overflow protection. When the liquid is sucked into the trap, the buoy, the black part, will flow up to block the air inlet and prevent the liquid from being sucked into the pump. The next one is the air inlet protection. The filter cartridge, the white part, is equipped before the air inlet to filter the particle and the moisture in the air and prevent the dust from going into the pump. The last one is the thermal protection device. Each of Rucker's pump will shut off automatically when overheated and resume walking when cooled down. The above three safety features provide the maximum protection for Rucker series pump and prolong the service life. Here's the specification and application of the Rucker series pump. The Rucker 300, 400, and 800 provides the better flow rate. And the Rucker 410 and 810 provides the better vacuum, which is suitable for sticky or high viscosity liquid application. The Rucker series pump are used in general, the non-chemical applications. All Rucker series pump can be used in vacuum filtration and water testing like the suspended solid test or the microbiological test in water sample. And the 400 series is mostly connected to the small instrument such as the manifold and the vacuum desiccators. And the Rucker 800 series is recommended for the large capacity instrument such as the vacuum oven. Okay, so and it's worth mentioning that the Rucker series pump is strong enough that can continuously work for more than 100 hours. Besides, Rucker series pump are CE, CSA, ROSE, and IP30 approved. The second one is compressor. And the compressor is mostly used in aeration and the pressure filtration. Please note that Compressor is easy to be overheated, so it's recommended to shut off every 20 minutes. And for continuous use application like fermenter, the Rucker 440 is one with a tank is the best choice. Next one is the Rucker 430. Rucker 430 can work as both pump and compressor but you can only choose one function at a time. The application of Rucker 430 is similar to what we mentioned above as pump or as the compressor. Here's the pumping speed graph of Rucker series pump. So what can we do with this graph? In some situations, user needs to fix the flow rate. And with this graph, we can speculate the vacuum and get the desired flow rate. For example, I have a rocker 800 and I want to fix the flow rate around 70 liter per minute. So first, look for rocker 800, the red line rocker 800, this one, and depends on your frequency. And here I take 60 Hertz, for example. And then you find a desired flow rate, which is 70 liter per minute 
and you can get the corresponding vacuum. Here is the 740 minibar. So therefore, we can get a flow rate around 70 liter per minute by regulating the vacuum to 740 minibar. So in the end of this section, let's make a quick review of Rucker's features. A small size makes it space saving and easy to carry. Rucker series pump can run at lowest noise and vibration. Patent overflow protection prevents liquid from being sucked into the pump accidentally. Filter cartridge prevent particles and darts from going into the pump. Thermal protection will shut the pump down to prevent the possible damage. Rocker Series Pump has got CE, CSA, IP30, and ROSE certificates. Right away experience Rocker Series Pumps yourself, more than what we can tell.